you are someone who uses PPTs, then you are probably making them on Microsoft PowerPoint or maybe some other platform. Today, I want to show you how you can do it on Canva so easily. Now, it's great for teachers and their classes. It's great for academics, students. It's great for business people, people who like to do presentations in any setting. Being able to make a PPT quickly, efficiently, and to a high quality standard is a great skill to have. So I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can do this on Canva for free. So this is really useful for anyone who regularly makes PPTs. The wonderful thing about this as well, as with any PPT, is that once you've made it, you can download it and you can use it again and again. So, it, you know, all you have to do is make it once, really. So without further ado, let's jump in. What you will need is a Canva account. So head over to canva.com, make an account. Won't take long. You can do this as with many platforms now with your Google or your Apple account. Log on and you will see a homepage that looks like this. Now, this is the free version because I'm sure anyone who's learning this probably doesn't know Canva too much or isn't familiar with the platform. So you are not very likely to have the pro version. If you do have the pro version, which I do use most for the most part, then you're just going to have access to more features, which is really great. But in the meantime, if you just want to test the water and try for yourself, then the free version's fine. You can still do everything that you're going to need to do to make a good PPT. So this tutorial is going to be for the free version. And so once you're at this page, I want you to look here and you can see my pointer here. Just follow that and listen to me. The third one along is presentation. You don't need to worry about all this other stuff. That can come as you start getting a bit more proficient with Canva. But of course, anyone that's into graphic design, marketing, that kind of thing, Canva is an amazing tool for that. You can make posters, adverts, videos, logos, all kinds of things. But of course, today we're just focusing on presentations. So we're going to click the presentation button. Simple as that. This little space here is where all your saved work, all your work, that anything you've made will be saved. And you can come back to that later if you want to edit it or change anything or you accidentally lost it, you know, deleted it or whatever. You can come back and re-download it there. But we're going to go to presentation, click this button, and it will take you to a blank presentation. Now, you could make it from scratch, but that's going to take a lot more time. I highly recommend using a template. And Canva has thousands and thousands of templates that you can use for an array of different subjects. I'm going to focus on teaching because that's what I do. But absolutely, if you're in a company, if you're at university, you can cater it and just kind of change it to whatever you want it to be for. In this case, it's teaching. So let's make a let's make a PowerPoint for a lesson learning about, let's say, food and drink. OK, nice and simple. I'm an English teacher. Look, if you're teaching children, adults, high school, if you're teaching any subject, whatever subject it is, from maths to science, even PE, ICT, whatever it is, there'll be a template for it. But I said food and drink. So let's just type here in the design. This is the very first very first thing you want to do when you have your presentation here is find the template. So describe what you want. So I said food and drink. I will type that here. Click food and drink. And here there are many, many templates. So you can kind of scroll through. Think about who are you making the presentation for? Is it adults? You're going to want it to be a bit more professional, less in your face with colors. If it's for children, you're going to want it to look a bit more visually stimulating so they can pay attention and focus better. 
So I kind of like this one, this healthy and unhealthy food. It's not too complicated. It's quite simple looking. Um, but you can see here, it says pro with the crown. So unfortunately, I can't use this one with the free version, but that doesn't matter because there are many, many templates here that are not for the pro version. So you can use this for the free version. So we've got this one, this one, this one, this one. Unfortunately, I can't use the one I wanted, but I can upgrade, get the 30 day free trial. That's fine. But, you know, there's so many that don't need pro that this shouldn't be a problem for any of you. So I'm going to go through here. Let's have a look. I like this one. So I'm going to choose it. Now you can see all the slides in the template. Of course, you can customize this. You can change the writing, the pictures. You can add things. You can take things away. So I like this. After you've found one you like, just click apply all 15 pages or however many pages there are. I'll click that and it will now add all down here. Wonderful. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to get more space. And you can go through and it's already got a good outline. So I'm like, OK, I've got a lesson plan here about food and drink. But I need to change this. I like the style, but a few things don't fit my lesson. For example, this hot pot, that really shouldn't be there. And these chopsticks, maybe not. So I want to replace the hot pot with, let's say, a hamburger. So I'll just type in burger. Now, please note that I've moved from design. We've got the design. Probably won't need to use that again unless you want a specific slide. I can show you that in a moment. But now you go to elements. Elements is where you will find all your graphics, all your pictures, anything like that. So really, all you will need is design elements text. The others, don't worry about them. That's more for the pro version, and you can do a lot more with those features. But right now, let's keep it basic, simple, easy to understand. We've got elements. Click on the elements. I'm going to say a burger. And all of these come up. All you'll, all you'll need is graphics which are just graphics, and some of them are animated, and you've got photos, which are real-life photos. So I actually want to include a real-life photo, so I'm going to choose this one. You can change the size. Ooh. Oh, this one's pro, actually. As you can see, it has the watermark, so I can't use that one. That doesn't matter, though. Let's find one that isn't pro. Here, it's not pro, so you can still use this one for free, no problem. Put this one here in the middle. I'm going to write Dave's class up here. Change that. You can change the size. You can change, drag it around, put it where you like. You can tr play around with this. I'll change the font. I like Sanchez. Let's have Sanchez, Dave's class. And we can choose these three buttons here. See more. And right. This has animations and stuff. You can you can move these. You can you can remove them if you don't want them. It's entirely up to you. You can play around with this, whatever you think looks good. You don't need to spend too much time on this. If you think it enhances your lesson in some way, then by all means, feel free. But when I do PPTs, I don't really do too many animations. I don't think they're very necessary, but sometimes they're fun to add. But what I wanted to do was effects. If you go to effects, you can change how the font looks. So I want to give it a lift. And it just makes it look a little bit, you know, looks a little bit nicer now. And let's say all about food. Okay, all about food. So this lesson's all about food. And we can write in the elements, just write food. And, okay, don't really like any of these. Let's choose some graphics. Let's see what is not for the pro version. Here, we've got, what is it? Click the three buttons. You can see the name of it, non-Indian food. So that's what it is. I can choose that, move it, and maybe put that up here. And what else? We've got a salad. 
wonderful illustration of a salad. We can put this up in that on that side and you can play around. I don't really like the color. In fact, I might just keep it white and I can maybe add here. I can go to the effects and I want to give this a bit of emphasis so I can choose background. And now it's got a background. You can change the color of the background here. Change it to red, change it to blue, whatever you like. But I kind of liked yellow, so I'm going to keep it there. So now you can see from the original template, we've now got an entirely different slide. But the template was just that. It was a template. It gives you the kind of layout that you need that you just thought looked good. All I did was just take a few things away and add a few things. Now, you don't need to spend time on this. And the more you practice, the better you will become. And it will be like clockwork. You won't even really think about it. It becomes like second nature. I've been using Canva now for about a year and a half for my classes. And it really is so much better, in my opinion, than Microsoft present uh, PowerPoint. So uh, just to add on that, you can still edit these in PowerPoint. If you download it and then want to edit it there, you can still do that if you're more proficient on that and feel more comfortable with its user face. But this one really I find more intuitive. So we've got the first slide. Let's. I'm going to keep this lesson very simple. So I'm going to delete some of these. So you can just delete them with your delete button or you can right click and delete it that way. I tend to use the keyboard because it's faster and I don't really want many of these so in fact i will delete them all and i will duplicate this page you right click and click duplicate and now i can remove all of this we can this i want to edit and put this at the top oh let's get rid of that remove these this one it's it's curved i don't like that so i go see more effects Curve is you scroll down and you choose no curve. And now you can put this up here. We can move these stars higher. And now I will add some text here. Just click the text box, nice and simple. You can look at all these different fonts and things. I don't really use them, but feel free to have a look. If you like the look of them, you can play around. I tend to just choose a heading, usually subheading because they're a little bit smaller and take up less space so here i can write don't need to change how it looks right now just write what you like or copy and paste it from a lesson plan or even chat gpt if you're using that or something similar to help you um so i'll write something in today's lesson we are going to be learning about healthy and unhealthy food simple wonderful in it's very you know, says what it is on the tin, don't need to be too complicated. And I can write here, healthy and unhealthy food. Let's see what comes up. We're going to see here we've got, there you go. Oh, this is a pro one. Always bear that in mind. That's why pro is really quite uh, worth it, I think, because you do have access to all of these. And in fact, I'm not really seeing too many that aren't pro on this one, but we do have a few. We've got one here. So we've got this lady here. And maybe we can look at the photos. And we've got, yeah, most of these are for the pro version. Maybe it's a little bit more particular. But okay, we've got this one here. We can't use background remover in the free version. But actually, this is really good because that would remove the background and just keep the main elements of the picture. But maybe that for another lesson. If you guys like this, let me know and I can make another one that goes into detail using the pro version because that's the one I use regularly. Um, but I'll just keep this here for now. This girl, keep it simple. And I'll just write, what's what's a food? Okay, let's just ice cream or something. There'll definitely be a free version for that. Graphics. Okay, let's have a look here. We've got an ice cream, nice and simple. Let's use this one. You can change the color of the ice cream if you like up here. Just go to the color. Oh, okay, up here. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's for the pro version too. I didn't know that, but you just have to keep the color of the one in the graphics, which is fine because this color is good. I just wanted to show you, you could make it like a chocolate ice cream or a strawberry ice cream. 
So I was just messing around with it and realized that after using it a few times on the free version, you can't actually change the font of the writing, which is fine because you can still use the fonts and add text from the templates. But if you wanted to change it or whatever, then you'd have to upgrade to the pro version, but that's okay. But here we've got, right, my intro slide, and then we've got just, you know, a bit more information. And now I've duplicated this, so we've got a third one. Let's go to another th another free template. And I like this slide. So I'm going to just go to it, this one here, click Add, Add as, yeah, Replace Current Page. And now I've got this as my third one. So I can say, what is a healthy food? Okay, just as an example, guys, of course, this is not an actual lesson, but... Here, oh, it's very apt. It's about healthy food. So here are some healthy street food menus. And we can talk about the money and everything else. And you can change this, of course. But bear in mind, you cannot change the font now. Here, I don't like this. We're going to move this out. We can move these. Let's say, I want a happy child. It's for kids. We're going to have a ch happy child. Let's see. She looks very happy. And we're going to move her down here. Wonderful. And that's basically it. So like, I'll duplicate that one again, remove her, add some more information. Let's just say, what healthy food do you like? We can do an activity, maybe we can draw whatever it is in your lesson plan, just make the slide for that. And we can remove all of these. Ah, this is a good one, guys. If you have pictures, you can get these in the elements. So I can just write photo. And if you go down, photo frame, it's all, I'm sorry. I think you have to go, yeah, frames. So you can choose a frame. So let's go back to that. Right, take this one away. Let's choose a frame. I want this one. And this just adds to it, makes it look cool, you know? So I can go to the photos and just type in food and this one's free and I can just drag it and it will it will go into the frame so it becomes part of it and it just I think these if used well you can really make your PPTs look really good so definitely worth knowing that and yeah just go along and then you can just keep adding and then when you're ready to download i'm going to leave it there now it's a very very basic simple powerpoint but just for demonstration purposes once you have finished when you're happy with how your ppt looks it's time to download it you can have you can just kind of like press present and you can just go through the ppt so i can do that now and you can see it all about food, you know, and I'm kind of giving you the lesson. So let's start on this one. And then we can go through it's all got the animations from the template. And there you go. And it goes through you're teaching it you're talking about the slides. That's the last one. So we can leave that. And then when you're happy with it, go to the top here, you click share, download, and you want to make sure you click you click PPTX, okay? Don't click PDF because that's that's what it will be on. Move it to PPTX. You want all of the pages, and you click download, and that is now downloading. And you can still edit it after if you're not happy with something. If you want to embed videos or music or anything like that, you can. And it really is an excellent tool. Now, of course, this is the free version. You are limited in what you can do. If you do upgrade to the pro version, you can add your own photos. You can mess around, add all of the graphics and the photos and the videos and the, the audio that this has to offer. There are many tools as well, like AI tools that you can use. But honestly, if you're just starting out using this, try it. You can still do 30 days for free, the pro version. Check it out. I really think it's a great tool for any teacher. And yeah, that's the end of this tutorial then, guys. Nice and simple. Don't want it to be too complicated. If you have any questions, if there's anything I can help with, 
If there's any any feedback you have, then that's all warmly welcome. On YouTube, just put it in the comments. In the school community, just message me or put it in the community and someone can help you. So we'll leave it there, guys. I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope you found value in this tutorial. And now I'm going to go. So you take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.